Hey YouTube, it's me again, Nicole. And I was actually just gonna do a quick update. I really hope my iPad doesn't fall, it's not really up there. So pretty much, um, last time in my video I showed you guys my apps. And on my app it said I had like two days left or something like that until I'm supposed to take a pregnancy test. So it's day one of my menstrual cycle phase. I have not started yet. I have 11 days until my fertility window and 28 days until I'm supposed to take another pregnancy test if the one that I've taken recently was negative. So the one I took, I took it two days ago, it was negative. So I have to wait until my, for not fertility, until my period and all that starts and I might take another one. But it says, you're on your period, I haven't started. Um, however, I do have some slight symptoms of a possible pregnancy, but I don't think it is. It could just be stress. But it's... I was feeling nauseous two days ago. I think I might have ate something bad or whatever, so that could have been it. I've had a headache, but I drink Rockstars almost daily, and then I just stopped drinking them, so I'm like, that could be it. Um, I've been peeing a lot, but it's like I've been trying to do this whole natural detox thing where I'm just flushing everything out my system. And what I use is ginger, lemon, mint, and cucumber and put it in my water. I don't add sugar or anything. My mom tries to do that and says, no, you don't do that. But it's just been making me pee a lot. So those are technically like my symptoms that I would have if I was actually pregnant, but I'm not, I have no tender breasts, nothing like that, so I don't think I am. But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys like that update real quick on that because I'm on my 10 minute break and it took me like five minutes to get out here and actually get everything set up and yeah, so, um, but hopefully everything works out because like I said, See the two, I don't know. Yep, there we go. I'm supposed to be on it today. My period has been regular, so I'm supposed to be on it. The green on the 13th, that is when my fertility window is open. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm really hoping that this could possibly be it. If it would be amazing because that means my husband wouldn't have to go through the sperm analysis test. I wouldn't have to go through all of that extra testing and figure everything out and we wouldn't have to wait. We would just boom. So to keep my mind off it, because I'm going to wait a couple more days before I take another test, because like I said, my tests that I got were from Amazon and it was easy at home pregnancy and ovulation test. I, with the pregnancy test, when I took it, there was a very, very faint line, a very, very, very faint line. And, like, I saw it, my husband, he said he could barely see it. He thought there was something there. And he was like, is there? And I was like, uh, oh. it's like, it's something faint. It's like, but I heard it could be like an evap or evape or whatever, evap, evaporation. There we go. Line, but that happens, like, once it dries and after it's sat for a little while, I guess. I don't completely know. But anyway, so I had that type of line and... I don't, I don't, I don't think I am. My coworker, she's waiting a couple more days to find out if she is. And I really hope she is because it'd be cool if we were pregnant at the same time. Because then we can kind of share our, um, like, experience with it. Because it would be her second child, be my first. So we could share our experience, like our symptoms and all that. And I can even get her up on here and talk to you guys about it. Which I'm actually going to think about doing because my sister-in-law, she went through... Diff slightly different symptoms with both of her pregnancies so I would like to actually get her to like tell me more about it and all that I guess you could say interview her um so yeah it's really warm in here I don't have my car on because if my husband or somebody calls it's gonna go straight to my car and then you can hear it over everything so yeah but anyway I've been talking for way too long because I'm probably going to be late going back in Hopefully not, but I got like a minute left. So, pretty much, I hope this is it. If not, even if it is it, like you guys will see me, I'll keep posting and I'll start doing daily things of like 
throughout my pregnancy and even afterwards because I actually really enjoy doing this. It's like even though I'm just kind of talking to like myself kind of in a car and lots of people think I'm crazy because they'll walk by and to see me like talking and hand movements and everything. But besides that, it's like it's like I like it. I realize I started getting followers and it's like I just at first like I was kind of doing it just to vent and now it's like I'm doing it because I want you guys to hear my story more. I want you guys to know more about me and join me on this journey so that way if you guys are having a hard time or something like you guys can relate to it you guys can be like okay well this is what she did and this is the steps she took and all that so yeah because this is my second video this week I was going to do two videos last week but stuff happened drama lovely drama lovely family drama but I changed my mind and I decided to do a surprise one I guess you can say for this week and I kind of like doing two videos where it's like the beginning of the week and at the end let you know basically the stuff that I've done in the middle of it um, but if I'm not pregnant my husband will be making an appointment next Tuesday so he can go get his sperm analysis test he was supposed to make it before but he's making it next Tuesday for his analysis test so we can take figure that out because I think it'll take like a week or so to get back um, speaking of which, I haven't got even gotten my results back to even see if I am possibly ovulating. Because I went and got my blood drawn and my thyroid checked to double check. And I have not gotten that information back. Which I'll probably call and figure that out within the next 10 minutes. I believe they close at 5... At 5? No, I think they close at... Whatchamacallit? Oh, what's the name of it? Six, seven. <laughs> trying to figure out the name. But anyways, I have to go back. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short video, and I hope to see you guys soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment, let me know what's going on with you. I'm dying to know what you guys are experiencing. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.